Why are Selena Gomez and Hailey Bieber still being compared? Find out now. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates on your favorite Hollywood stars before we go any further. Imagine the setting. Your third wedding anniversary falls on the same day as a sizable, opulent celebration to which both of you have been invited. You decide against having a more private celebration instead, get dressed up, and go out with your significant other hand in hand. But just as you arrive at the location, catastrophe occurs. You quickly recognize what is being shouted by those nearby, it is the first name of your husband's childhood sweetheart. Selena, it sounds like a situation straight out of a nightmare, doesn't it? Crowds chanted Selena at Hailey and Justin Bieber as they walked the red carpet at the 2021 Met Gala, making Hailey Bieber's fantasy a reality in September. It was, of course, a reference to Selena Gomez, who Justin dated intermittently for almost eight years before their final breakup at the start of 2018. Video of the Met Gala event shows a sobbing Hailey being consoled by her husband as he whispers I love you to his understandably distressed wife, no matter how strong your relationship is, it must be terrible to hear the name of your husband's ex yelled at you by a large group of people. It follows that Hailey's response was expected. It is puzzling that, almost four years after the couple's final breakup, people still feel qualified to comment on Justin's dating decisions. Furthermore, this incidence is not unique. After an online troll urged followers to go after Haley during a scheduled Instagram live in December of last year, Justin was compelled to publicly defend Haley. In his stories, Justin stated, This horrible excuse of a human simply encouraged people to literally go after my wife by asking people to believe that my former relationship was better so on and so forth. The two women are still frequently compared on social media, so I simply wanted to post this to give folks an idea of what we deal with on a daily basis. Some may describe it as romanticism gone wrong. Selena and Justin dated for almost 10 years, beginning when they were both innocent-looking teenagers, 18 and 16 years old, respectively. Perhaps some fans are projecting their notions of young love onto the couple, even though there is no justification for unkind behavior. The fact that Selena has been unmarried for the previous three years, leaving some followers with a still-burning flame in their thoughts, may not assist some people's fantasies either. But let's be honest, how many of us still consider it to have been a smart idea to remain in the relationships we began in our late teens? Exactly, another issue is the sense of ownership that fans, or followers, appear to have developed over their superstars. This is likely due to the blurred lines between private and public life on social media, which frequently gives the impression that you have an intimate connection with someone you follow even though you have never even met them. All three groups have devoted supporters, Justin and Selena have over 200M followers each, while Haley boasts a cool 38.6 million. To make matters worse, during the period that the ex-couple was dating, there was a sizable crossover fandom known as Yelena fans that included both Selenators and Beliebers. As the person who replaced Selena in Justin's heart, Haley suffers the burden of the so-called Selena fans inability to let go and the terrible tendency to channel their disappointment in a nasty manner, the way Selena and Haley, two lovely, accomplished women in their own right, are placed against one another, however, is particularly sinister about the entire scenario. The unwarranted comparison is reminiscent of the Jennifer vs. Angelina controversy that arose when Brad Pitt and his wife of five years, Jennifer Aniston, divorced in 2005, allegedly as a result of Brad's meeting Angelina Jolie while shooting Mr. Mrs. Smith, while LA Boutique Kitson published Team Jolie and Team Aniston t-shirts in the wake of the split, worn by celebrities like Paris and Nikki Hilton, the tabloid media sprung to fabricate a bitter rivalry between the two women rather than leave all parties to what was undoubtedly a messy and challenging situation for all involved, the ladies involved were forced to deal with media attention while Brad, who was allegedly in the center of a love triangle, was mostly left out of the story. The continual pitting of Selena and Haley against one another suggests that history is repeating itself, albeit in a more contemporary manner on social media as opposed to in tabloid headlines. Even though we might think that in 2021 we might be past all that and have made progress in supporting and elevating other women, oh, and let's keep in mind that the two's alleged feud isn't really one at all. The two women have publicly supported one another, with Haley liking a number of Selena's Instagram pictures, including the latter's September 2018 ELLE cover. 
Selena previously recognized the unfavorable tension in an Instagram live in 2019 when she released her song Lose You To Love Me, thought to be about her previous relationship with Justin, and Haley was taunted as a result. She addressed her supporters, I do not stand for women pulling other women down. There you have it, then. In a mature and calm manner, all parties concerned have made it clear that they do not want to be set against one another in a fabricated rivalry. As time goes on, hopefully, fans will realize that honoring that wish is the best way for them to truly demonstrate their loyalty to Selena, Justin, and Haley.